everyone, so today we're going to be making a basic salad using some cauliflower, cucumbers, and baby spinach. So stay tuned and I'll see you there. Beginning part. Okay, so let's see. We start with cucumber. What? Name off what to get. Okay, so we're doing a salad. And so we have two cucumbers, four beefsteak tomatoes, a little bag of uh, shredded carrots. Um, we're going to add cauliflower to ours. We have a thing of baby spinach, some uh, baby bell mushrooms, and we have regular green leaf and some bell peppers. And just for reference, these are portobello mushrooms. Or also known as baby bells. So. With all the vegetables, you basically want them in just bite-sized pieces. So it's just kind of your preference of how you want to chop them up. Oh, and I'm also going to be grabbing an onion. With the vegetables, you want to make sure that you also have a very sharp knife. It makes it a lot easier. Yeah, I named off the, the green leaf lettuce. Okay. And on the next video, we're going to be making pesto. <laughs> yeah, we kind of have to go searching for uh, basil or basil, depending on how you pronounce it. If you're Gordon Ramsay, it's basil. <laughs> And I think I'm also going to be doing another video here soon about some artichoke dip. I think I promised you some of that. I just put it in the little freezer, yeah, I just stick it in there. Hey, look, the whole thing is <laughs> So the great thing about what salad I'm doing is you can add anything to it if you, you wanted to. You don't have to, to do both of them. Yeah. I'm just going to cut up half. Can you cut these up in like halves? One and a half? Like these. Okay. So a quick way to do the halves is just to stack them into a little stack. That way you make one cut. It makes it a little easier. It is tricky because they are slimy, so they slide. And if you put them in vinegar, you get pickles. Actually, that's a specific type of, pi of cucumber. It's called a pickling cucumber. I know. But yes, generally you can make almost anything into a pickle. So I'm just going to have these real quick. And on the pesto, we're probably going to use the other camera with that mic that I uh, uploaded a video on. Um, so uh, we're going to test that mic out, see how well it does. I got to do a review on it anyways. Okay, 
that's about all of them, except for that one. Okay, so all of them are halves. Stick them back in the bowl. And the carrots, it's just a bag of shredded carrots. Yes. So I'm just gonna put the bag in there. Okay. Cause I used half the bag the last time. Okay. Now I'm going to do the bell peppers so that way I can reuse the bag as a trash can. And with these you just want to cut out the inside membrane, grab all the seeds. If you miss one or two of the seeds it's not going to yeah, hurt you. Yeah, they're not hot at all. Bell peppers are one of the mildest peppers you can actually get in the pepper family. It's just turning orange. Yeah. And depending on how you like your bell peppers, you can either do see the bugs. You can either do strips or pieces. And then what I like to do is take the top of this, push it up, break it in half, and that way you can also use this part too. Do you want strips or do you want pieces? I use strips and then I diced them is what I did. Okay. We bought some some of the specialty Star Kiss Selects. This is um, with lemon and dill, Ugh. and it's in olive oil. And what we did is we just stuck the in entire can with the olive oil in the salad that we had in our bowl, um, and you got tuna salad. Yeah, the olive oil also makes it really helpful if you want a dressing and you don't want to go out and get some, you can just grab the can. Or you can also add a little bit of like balsamic or whatever oil-based dressing you like and then it won't take away from it at all. So I'm just dicing these up into smaller pieces. Just save the next one. Use it for another dish. Well, it's getting wrinkly, so we're gonna have to use it soon. Use it for breakfast tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. So we're not gonna use the red one. The red one's actually turning orange. We'll use it for breakfast tomorrow, like she said. No, it's not a big piece. Oh, okay. I just haven't cut those up smaller. Separating those. There we go. Get these in there. And you can use any bell pepper you want. It could be orange, red, green, yellow. I do think that the colored ones that are not green specifically have a little bit more sweetness to them. When I did it, I used the, the green, the green one. Well, why is doing the yellow one? There. It don't have to be perfect.
Yeah, that way it's not so dark. And then if you have um, vegetables that come in bags like that, you can just use them as like little trash bags. You're gonna throw it away anyway, so it helps. And if you have recycling, just use the recycling. It's really really thin so I was trying to get that but it didn't work out. Cutting. And when you're cutting, make sure that you keep an eye on where your fingers are, especially with slippery foods. It's the best way to get a cut or lose a finger. It's gonna be kind of a different video, so we don't. I don't normally do cooking on my channel, and this is gonna be on my wife's channel. All right, this one's a little juicier than I anticipated. So let me go rinse this off. We'll be back in a few minutes. Okay.
just gonna rinse it off real quick. So what I just did was rinse off the lettuce. Just trying to get the uh, I'm just putting it in a bigger bowl. Yeah, just get the dirt and everything like that. And I'd already cut off the end. What you can do is just roll the leaves up like this a little bit. Now we can get a better grip on it. For the lettuce, it doesn't really matter the size that you have it. You can tear it, cut it. It's up to you for that. It's just how we're doing it. In here? Okay. I'm having her put it in the colander so I can rinse it some more. Okay. This is so small compared to what the, it started as. I'm just going to do it like this. And if you add cilantro into this salad and you add um, some spices like basil and parsley, you can actually turn it into a, a, a chip dip if you wanted to do that because we're also going to add onions into it and basically it's um you can make it into anything you can make it do a chip dip you can top it onto your sandwiches pet pico pico de gallo yeah yeah pico de gallo is basically a salad it's just got extra ingredients in it yeah okay right. so i'm going to get the onion real quick Okay, so for my onion, I decided to grab the red onion. And with onions, you want to make sure you get this papery kind of skin off. Good way to do that. Depending on the shape of the onion, I would say. is cut off the top and the bottom. As you can. And then just roll your knife along the edge and that way you can kind of just release it okay. 
Ooh, that was a good one. Mm. If you guys like these videos, let us know. Always make like a homemade lasagna or something like that. Right. when you're cutting onions because it makes it very hard to see. Another thing is that red onions dye your hands purple. Especially the older they get. That's good, or a little more. Just put the whole onion in it. Okay. Because we still need to put the spinach in it. Right. Okay. And then earlier, I just cut off some parts that I questioned. If it doesn't look good, then you could always just cut it off. Investigate it later. Just kind of wanted the uh, the bite of the red onion this time around. Excuse me. Are these bad? Yeah, those ones. They. Oh yeah. Yeah, they don't look too great. Yeah. I'm, gonna that. I'm definitely a strong. Okay. So, I'm 
move on to. And this is organic baby spinach. Yeah. Doesn't have to be organic. It just happened that's the largest container they had of spinach. Right. Okay, so with the mushrooms, basically you can just pop these off. You can eat these if you want, or you can discard them. That is up to you. I think I'm, I might add them in there. But just for cutting purposes, it makes it a lot easier if you pop the stems off. And also, if you get relatively big ones like this, if you want to do stuffed mushrooms, it makes a really good dish as well. So I'm probably going to use most of this. I might save some of this for another dish and for like tomorrow or something. So with these, you just slice them, dice them up into small pieces. And just toss them in. Portobello mushrooms have a lot better flavor than white mushroom, button mushrooms. A little bit more earthy. I like them. But they do have a soft kind of foam like texture, if you will, when they're raw, but when they're cooked, they're a lot softer and their texture changes completely. You saute them in oil, they taste really good. Yeah. They're really great for steaks and omelets. And, and if you're vegan, you can make them actually as your substitute for meat. Yeah, so you can take a really big portobello mushroom that you just eat the whole cap, and you would marinate that in whatever flavor you want it to hold, and then you would cook that until it's well done or slightly um, slightly holds its shape but not quite falls apart, and then that way you can make it into a burger instead of having meat. You can use it as a meat substitute, and it's a lot better for those who don't like tofu or who are allergic to soy because that's what tofu is it's a soybean And I wouldn't recommend eating the stems either. You can, but you'd probably want to cook them if you do. And this is a bulk batch that we're making, so yeah, that's why this video is going to be a, a, be pretty long. Yeah. I like to take it to work. That's a nice little option when you have no time. Because where I work, you don't actually get breaks. You kind of just eat on the go. And we're going to be making the pesto um, on another video so we can add it on top of the salad or if you put it on steaks or... Maybe pasta or something. Yeah. We'll see. We'll figure out what we want to put it on. be your salad dressing if you want it to be. Yeah, I had a little sandwich yesterday.
three, three or four. Should be good. separate into two bowls. Yeah. Yeah, if you're gonna do a large bulk salad, make sure you have a container big enough or separate it into smaller containers. Because that seems to be our problem right now. spinach in it because we wanted spinach right I like spinach in my salads I just don't like it to be the only green thing in there okay so I've never had cauliflower in a salad that I can think of so I wanted to try it oh yeah it's pretty good since I like it with ranch I figured why not I gotta read this open So with cauliflower, you have these really big stalk-like leaves. You just snap them. Makes it easier for you to get down to bottom here. Looks like alien tentacles. <laughs> yeah, which is quite funny though. Cauliflower is actually part of the broccoli family, but it's not the same taste or texture as broccoli. Okay, and then once you get to a certain point, you kind of just break off the florets. Ow, there we go. To get them away from the center. And I would not suggest eating the yeah, don't eat this the part. stalks or what she's cutting off. So once you get to where it's manageable, you can kind of just cut away at the core. That way it makes it easier for you to get the uh, florets off. Basically one of these, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Actually dice them. Yeah. It's, it's going to taste weird if they're not diced. Yeah. I'm going to give them a rough chop. That's what I'm going to give
restocking it. You want the whole thing in there? You can also put other things in the salad if you wanted to put, you know, chicken or you want right. to put fish or. Well, that's what I was saying earlier that um, this salad makes a really great basic salad. You can add anything you want. You can add hamburger to it if you wanted to, if you wanted to make a meat salad. Right. It's just the flavored tuna that I got was actually makes it a lot easier because you could put one can into your single bowl and you don't have to put it in the giant bowl. Right. It's just one of those easy proteins that you can pick up at the store. You don't have to cook it. It's already cooked. And we did pick up croutons. We have um, some Texas toast croutons, some garlic and butter, and some seasoned croutons. Yeah. Yeah, so with the cauliflower, you just kind of want to give it a rough chop because it's really crumbly, as you can tell. So it kind of ends up in small pieces on its own. And I normally add to my salads, um, just a suggestion you guys might like. I usually put um, Parmesan oh, and yeah. feta cheese yeah. in it. Um, and I also add, sometimes, not all the time, but I also sometimes add bacon make your own homemade bacon bits is better than the bacon bits in the jar. Right. Okay. So I think that's about it for that. Be right back. Yeah. Okay. So now I have everything in the two bowls. We're going to mix all of this up and everything and go eat dinner. But for this is basically how you can make a basic salad of just spinach as a base. So if you like, comment, subscribe, and hit bell notifications uh, to see future videos that'd be very appreciated and also check out my husband's channel it's Antonio Michael and he does automotives and everything else so thank you bye